نريد السلام والاستقرار نريد أن تصبح أفغانستان دولة متقدمة كلمات قالها الشعب الأفغاني لمراسلة رؤية أثناء رصدها تقدم حركة طالبان وقبيل إعلان الحركة السيطرة على العاصمة كابل لنتابع The current situation in Afghanistan does not live apart from the issues that the country was experiencing prior to the U.S. withdrawal. Unemployment, the coronavirus crisis, the devaluation of the local currency, and security concerns have plagued the country for decades. At the top of the list of concerns are the strength of military groups. Nearly every person I spoke to said that there have never been more active militias in the country than there are today which many say is the result of the botched foreign invasion and support from neighboring Pakistan, with which Afghanistan has a touchy relationship with. Among the most active armed groups in the country apart from the Taliban is Daesh, and according to recent estimates, the group could have nearly 10,000 fighters inside Afghanistan distributed in all provinces. While shooting footage in Kabul's Babur Garden, we met a 36-year-old Hazara shopkeeper named Wahida who told her about her experiences in Afghanistan's changing political climate in the last 20 years. Having been widowed and left to raise her daughters on her own, she speaks of the challenges presented not only by the Taliban, but the government's lack of support. In general, the government has not supported us. Otherwise, how would the Taliban be able to target us? I'm uncomfortable, depressed, mentally miserable. What will they do for me and my family, she asks. Despite her situation and the fact that she says Hazara women in particular are targeted because of their hard work and grit, she remains intent that her daughters will see a better future. I won't allow my daughters to work. They're in school and they're learning English. I wasn't earning a lot, but when I needed money for my daughter's schooling, I sold one of my sewing machines just to ensure that they will continue their education. <laughs> Afghanistan has had a troubled past, and the decades of loss have scarred both the country and its people. But those scars are not innate, and violence is far from the spirit and heart of the country. People welcomed us with open arms, delighted that a foreign news crew wanted to know more about the rich and expansive Afghan culture, which is too often hidden behind worrisome news headlines. The Afghan people are ever deserving of the futures that were robbed from them, and it is their hope that those futures will be restored in this generation, who will, as they say, inshallah, see a brighter and united Afghanistan. <laughs>